So what we're going to do next is work with interactivity. So this is the fold.html page and there's nothing in the content area. What we're going to do is add thumbnails of the full collection and we want to install the Lightbox plugin and um, basically when the user clicks on the thumbnail the bigger image opens on the entire screen. So let's go ahead and do that. First I want to go to our French Alps work and borrow, if you will, um, the CSS for Lightbox and the JavaScript files for Lightbox. So let me just, in order not to make a mistake and forget a file behind, I'm going to uh, click on the CSS folder and then hold down the command key to also select the JS folder, not the shift key, otherwise it selects everything in between. So I held down the command key and I'm copying those, command C, and I'll go back to Penny Black and I will paste them here, command V. Now, let me just change their color just so that we see them because we're working with these two folders uh, right now. So, control click and choose like a different color just to highlight them. Let me choose something else like blue. Okay, so let me go inside of my CSS. I have two files, the lightbox.css, which I need, and the style.css, which I don't need because this is the style for the French Alps website. So I'm going to click on it and delete it. Then I want to open the JS folder, and I have the cycle plugin, which I don't need. It belongs to the French Alps website. And I do have the Lightbox plus jQuery file, which basically, if you remember, is made up of the Lightbox plugin and the jQuery library. Okay, so we have the necessary files, and we also have the images that we need. These are the images, and all we have to do is just add the code in the Dreamweaver file. So let's go ahead and do that. This is our page. It's the fall.html page. We're in design, we want to go to code, and you know, the first thing is inside of the head element, I want to add my script and my link tags to read the CSS file and uh, the jQuery file. So let's start with the CSS file. Um, where shall I put that actually to work nicely and organize? I'm going to start here. So link. href equals the style sheet is called lightbox it's in a CSS folder let's not forget lightbox.css okay so we're linking with the href attribute to the file called lightbox.css which resides in the CSS folder and then the script element source equals uh, it's in a JS folder and the file name is let me remember actually I'm going to copy it because I don't want to make a mistake lightbox hyphen plus hyphen jQuery.min.js. So I might make a mistake. I'm just going to copy this name and go to Dreamweaver and paste it there. Okay, so um, this is my script element, source attribute, calling the lightbox plus jQuery.min.js file that resides in the JS folder. Okay, that's all we need with regards to the code. And then we scroll down. And now we have to insert the images, right? So this is the full page. What's in the full page? There isn't much. Obviously, there's the Swift file and there's the navigation. And then this brown area is the content area. And after that, there's the footer. So we have to insert our thumbnails in this content area. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, where you see the UL and the LI, obviously, this is the navigation. So what we need is after that, it's inside of div class content. So I'm going to hit enter 
and then open the image element. You see, so now that we know how to write the code, we can write it ourselves. We don't need to uh, wait for Dreamweaver to do things for us. So image source equals images and what's the first image called? It's called fall one small dot jpeg and then the big image that opens from that is fall one big. Okay, so fall one small dot jpeg fall one small dot jpeg is the image. It's my thumbnail. And so this thumbnail now should show on the fall.html page. Okay? Now I want it to uh, load the bigger image. That's why I'm going to place it in an A element. And the A obviously has an href. And it's going to load the bigger image that is called fall one big dot jpeg. Let me double check. Fall one big dot jpeg. Okay. Um, so to activate the lightbox plugin, we need the data lightbox attribute. And in order to create a link. Uh, among all the images, we need the same value such as image1 or uh, maxmara or fall or uh, fur coat or whatever, something. Okay, just have the same value repeated across um, the remaining images. Okay, and then for the title, use the title attribute, um, something like nice dress or whatever, obviously, the, the appropriate term, but right now I'm just testing, okay? So uh, the A element is nesting the image element. The image element is calling the thumbnail. The A element is supposed to load the bigger image. Uh, we use the data lightbox attribute with the same value that we will use to the other images and with this title um, as a caption that will show under the image. So let's refresh, go back to design, save this, and file preview in browser. Okay, this is our thumbnail. When we hover over it, um, the caption shows nice dress. Uh, the cursor changes to the finger, which means this is clickable. And indeed, Lightbox works beautifully. And now all we need to do is add the remaining thumbnail so that the arrow shows here on the right side and then we can load the rest of the images. So let's go ahead and do that. Go back to code and I would just you know take this line and paste it five times because we have six thumbnails in total. One, two, three, four, five, six and change just change the name. So fall one big, this is fall two big, fall three big, fall four big fall 5 and fall 6 and same thing here 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so let's see what happened let's go back to design file save file preview okay wonderful so we have our thumbnails and let's click on one and then move to the next one. Obviously, I would go ahead and change these uh, captions, right? Uh, for example, uh, you know, uh, cashmere coat, uh, fur, whatever, you know, uh, by all means change those captions. It's easy to do. Um, you just go to your code and then you change what it says here. Instead of nice dress, you put the appropriate caption. Now, one thing I don't like in this is um, the margins between the images, right? The images are um, very close to one another. Let's add some space. So let's go to um, under style in the, in the CSS styles panel. Under style, let's look for the image. It's right here, a space image, right? Which means the image that is nested in the A element. Let's give it some margin right so that every image um, has some margin on its right side. 
So I'm going to go ahead and give it some margin, right? Something like 20 or 21 pixels. Hit enter and then save and let's refresh. Okay, beautiful. So here is everything working fine. And all we need to do now is just duplicate the fold.html and um, change it to spring.html and then um, re replace these images. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, this is fold.html, copy and paste it and call it spring.html. Open it in Dreamweaver and let's just replace those images, okay? So let's go to the code section and then at the bottom let's see what they should be called um, spring one big and spring one small that's that's how I've named them so just uh, change the, the word fall to spring okay I would just copy this word and paste it spring Two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, refresh, go to design. Um, we should also replace the swift because we don't want that winter looking swift here. There's a um, there's a nice swift for the spring section so delete it and then go to insert media swift okay and then the swift files are in the swift folder and choose spring.swift open that we can call it spring hit ok and that's it file save and preview okay wonderful so this is the spring page let's refresh um, load the images everything's working fine going back going forth just make sure to change this caption to um, you know three colored dress blue satin dress blue velvet dress whatever works Okay, so it's looking pretty nice. We have the home page, the about page. Under collections, we have fall and spring. Fall is loading the fall collection. Um, and then spring is loading the spring collection. And now we have to work on the contact page uh, because we don't want this table here. We want to create a real form uh, the way we learned with the French Alps website so that we get comments from users.